So we know that using this formula um, is going to become very, very important when we know that we have a consistent distance, which means it's going to be arithmetic sequence. All right. So for this problem, what they say is they give us um, a of 8, which is 26, and they give us a of 12, which is 42. All right. Um, and what they're asking us to do for number 30, for number 31, they're saying write the first five terms of the arithmetic series. So therefore, first of all, we don't know what a sub 1 is. We don't know what a sub 2 is. And we don't even know what the difference is, right? All we have is two numbers out of a whole sequence, correct? That's all we have. Now, so let's go through this. If I had a sub 1, um, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5. Remember, we know this is an arithmetic sequence. So therefore, we know that the difference of a sub 1 minus a sub a sub 2 minus a sub 1 is equal to a sub 3 minus a sub 2, which is equal to a sub 4 minus um, a sub 3, and so on and so on and so on. Right? All those values equal d. Now, here comes my issue. If, let's say the difference between these two is d, the difference between these two is d, these two are d, and these two are d, right? Yes? So ladies and gentlemen, then does it make sense? Let's say I'm only given the difference between, let's say I'm just given two values. Does it make sense, though, if I can find? So if I know the distance between all these is d, does it make sense, then, if I find the distance between those two terms, that I can find the difference between those two terms and then divide it by 3, and that will give me d? Right? Does that kind of make sense? I can find that distance and then divide it by, divide it by how many t distances I have, and that would, be, you know, that would give me d? OK. So that's exactly the kind of what I'm going to apply here. Um, Zach, what I'm going to look at is I'm not given, I don't know what d is, and I don't know what a sub 1 is. But I have to be able to figure out what the difference is. I have to be able to figure out, for me to find out what a sub 1 is, I have to know where am I going. Am I going up, down, or what, what's the deal? So what we'll do is I'm going to say a sub 12 is equal to a sub 8 plus um, the, diff the total of these is going to be n minus 1, where n would be 5. Because if you count a sub 4, or a sub 8, a sub 9, a sub 10, a sub 11, um, there'd be 5, or be 5 minus 1, and the difference is 4. All right. Now I know the values of a sub 12, which is 42, equals 26 plus 4d. So now what I'm going to do is simply solve for d, because d is going to be my difference between each of these values. right? So therefore, I subtract 26. And then I get 16 equals 4d. Divide by 4, divide by 4. 4 equals d. So now I know that the difference between my terms are, is 4. All right. Now, we could go through um, a couple different other ways to go back to find a sub 1. But very simply, we know that if a sub 8, if I know a sub 8 is equal to 26, then we know a sub 9 has to be equal to 30. So therefore, a sub 7 has to be 22. a sub 6 equals 18. a sub 5 equals 14. a sub 4 equals 10 a sub 3 equals 6, a sub t equals 2, and a sub 1 equals negative 2. All right? So there's a very just common, easy way that you can go ahead and find out um, the common terms that you're looking for for them. Okay? I'll show you guys another way how to find a sub 1 without having to do just you know, applying them in, which I'll get to in just a second. But that's just one way. Do you guys kind of see how I can use that formula? We're going to use the formula a lot. This is just one way.